So the three weeks break, well obviously uh, we lost to Rival before we went into a three week break. So I think that was like a big opportunity to us to like work towards something better so we could actually beat Dignitas which would be, or still is obviously, one of our biggest competitors Hello, in the league. Thank you again from the desk. I'm here with Liam Chase Hunter from Pittsburgh Knights. I gotta ask you, it was a difficult set up against Rival. Have you learned anything specifically from that set? We learned that our teamwork was not as good as we thought, and the final cage is better than death walk on every way possible. Understandable, up against the Solway matchup, but different Solway matchup today. How do you think death walk is going to fare? Uh, I think history, but I think it's going to be better than death walk. Yeah, I'm interesting words yet again from Mr. Liam Shane. So I've got to ask you, against your specific lane opponent, Mr. Adaraxia, yeah, how has that matchup been historically? Game one we had Jormungand and obviously I think that game we should have won way easier. I think we should have won that game. Rose doesn't come in, he uses his to disengage, and Emilzi still has ultimate and blink. Nowhere to be found in that fight. Mid Phoenix being chunked now and only three members of Pittsburgh Knights here. So it'll be a very tall task trying to slow down this surge. And I think Dignitas smell a little bit of blood in the water. They're moving right into the Titan room. They have it below half HP and there's nothing that the Knights can do. Dignitas, 46 minutes on the clock, grab game one. The second game we should probably not have won, but we won the second game by like, I don't know, like, I guess second game when we got the late game, like the fights we actually won, because they won a lot of fights. They had so many Phoenixes down this whole game. Wait, the left side Phoenix that, that Dignitas got earlier on has already refallen. It looks like Pittsburgh Knights was not able to defend that. So that, that is a win for Dignitas that even yes. though that fight kind of gets washed, it ends up still being a slight win for them because they keep map pressure on to the Pittsburgh Knights. There was also two big moments that game. One that was bad for us and, and one that was good was like, Fred, they're younger, play Kali. Uh, one time with uh, Jorm, and I knock him up, and he's like one HP when he lands from the knockup, and he survives, and they win that fight because of it, kind of. And then we have one, another fight later, where the same things happen pretty much, but then I kill him, I knock him up, and then he dies before he can get his ult off. And then we win that fight. And that's when we had two finishes down too, and we got them both up. And then we managed to win the game after that. Vo gets one, no execute target though. Cubo does not get two, vote. Able to put him down in time. Deathwalker still has his blink, but Trix healthy enough. Ataraxia will delay you so much that you can't be in the middle of, uh, of a fire giant. You just won't be able to do it. Phoenix Siege is, is the way to do it. Well, they've gotten the tier two, and Trix taking a variety, as you said, of a much harder time stopping them from getting into Phoenix range. A good scourge, a good stun of the vote, but that's all of it at once. And now he'll be able to put his DPS into the actual structure itself. But Trix thing, though, they're doing everything they can to harass vote. They're not giving him time to freely swing away. The Phoenix finally comes Got down. Him. Deathwalker gets variety. We're still 10 seconds away from this Hera rejoining the frame. Maybe a chance for the Knights if they want to all in it, but it has to be done now. It has to be done quick. Trix tank doing everything he can to keep the hopes alive, but vote completes the DS side, and that does it. The wow. Knights answer back almost an hour long 
Young, and they get the second game. Man, this set is everything that you could want from two of the best here in the SPS. Second game, it was kind of decided by us again. Um, it's our mistakes that cost us the first game, and it was our mistakes that almost cost us the second game as well. Um, I feel like this set so far, at least game one and two, has been up to us. Um, we're meant to be the playmakers in this set, and it's up to us to execute. If we if we miss on that execute, then then not literal execute from the Achilles, but then we're just gonna you know lose the five v five. But I'm confident our team is a better team play, and that we have the better five v five comp as well. We just need to get through the early game this game. Fire Giants coming up fairly soon. Dignitas still down 15,000. Cuba Fred looping on the opposition. It's only the carries left. No protection here from any frontliners. Cuba Fred is, is now trying to lock down Vote. He is able to make it through that stun with the use of the beads, but Vote has so much damage. Hammer off the mark, but so is some of Vote's damage as well. So Trix Tank can keep up the chase. Dragonic Corruption coming out, and now Vote and Zeros really need to get out of here because Amelzy's being locked down. This could be some trouble. A good Aegis from Zeros means a lot of damage, but Adaraxia burns him. Another execute for Deathwalker. That one doesn't land, but Variety still goes down. Vote ends up dying to the bees. Is that Araxia really wanted to ensure that kill and has thrown his own life away in order to secure it potentially? Deathwalker's out of buttons, but Emilzy certainly isn't. That Araxia will take him on a, on a wild ride for a little bit. That will certainly end in his death. That yeah. will certainly end in his death. Yeah. No other, no other really. A minute mark or something like that. We just decided to go for it, and uh, we had boat tank it, which is just inherently bad. Doesn't matter if it was enhanced fire giant or the normal fire giant; it's just not a good idea. Um, and then instantly, the Taz recognized that Trix Tank jumps on boat and, and kills him. He gets stunned, has to use both relics just to survive. And Trix Tank is still here. He's dead. Cubo Fred finds him, and Vote ends up going down. They Dignitas got it. Grab the fire giant, and Cubo Fred gets the double kill. Pittsburgh Knight, after all that time, still couldn't do it correctly. So they get Fire Giant, they kill us, wipe us, push up mid game, uh, push up mid lane and just end the game. And all of a sudden, somehow, things have turned back around. Pittsburgh Knights are choking on the snack wrap they got at the gas station right now, man. They are in serious trouble all of a sudden. I think, like even if you mentally tell yourself that, you know, we still got this, there's just something going on in the head that tells you, no, we don't got this. When we throw that hard, like, there's no way we win this, right? Like, no matter how hard you keep trying to tell yourself, after a loss like that, I mean, I don't know. You just kind of lost the set at that point. If we don't stop things up, we could probably lose to like United, Splice especially. That would kind of suck. Well, I mean, at the end of Thursday night, also obviously like a uh, I hate losing, man, like it sucks so much. It took like an hour or so and then they kind of shaking it off me and I was just looking in until Trifecta and I knew if we were just going to play the same way we did against Stick, we would beat Trifecta even with making a few mistakes. Leaving the leaving the studio Thursday night was was really disappointing. Um, we know we can't go back and, and have another shot at taking you know, not until, you know, maybe MSI at least. So. It was just like full of disappointment. Um, we knew we still had a game tomorrow, so we were able to keep ourselves together and just say that regardless of what happened today, we knew we could win. We knew it was just mistakes. We knew our strategies were there. So we decided to go home, watch the trifecta games. Um, when we watched them, we didn't see anything that really stuck out to us that would force us to change the way we were playing. Um, so we decided to just go in with the same game plan. Well, obviously, you have to learn from your mistakes. And we were a bit more careful around Fire Giants that next day against Trifecta. Uh, but Trifecta in general, like we felt good going up against them because they're not the strongest team. At least we feel they weren't the strongest team. They played really well actually. Uh, but like, I think them as a team aren't as experienced altogether. Uh, and they just couldn't capitalize off any lead. We, we, anytime they got ahead, they didn't do anything. But every time we got ahead, we were basically winning the game. So. 
Like, we, we had a good feeling we'd win against them. All right into an absolute oh, catastrophe. Full on DSI now and a triple kill for Vo. It just snuck up on us with that one. But the right side Phoenix that Pittsburgh Knights could not siege with all five trifecta members alive. It's going to be no problem when they're all dead. Exactly. What an impressive game from the Pittsburgh Knights. And what they did is they stuck in there. Deathwalker was losing a little bit in that solo lane matchup up against Ducky. There was a lot of pressure from Trifecta on that blue buff time and time again, but it did not phase the Knights. Like as soon as we closed out game one and two really fast, more specifically, I think game one, like you kind of have a feeling that it's going to go well as long as it's like as long as you don't screw up too bad. Uh, game three was a bit messier, but like we still had a good feeling we were gonna win just because of the way we closed out games one and two, I think. Coupled with the loss from Dig, it doesn't feel as good. But it does negate some of the sadness, I guess, from the big loss. And uh, it was just important to win that set because I guess it's really important to be top six right now because that's the ones that qualify for the tournament. So as long as we get some wins, like wherever we can really, and qualify for the tournament, I think we're good to go.